The video will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video, please follow the link below. Also note that you can post anonymously. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Cooler Master NotePal i100 Notebook Cooler. A fine looking box with lots of pictures of the product on it as well as plenty of features and specifications about it. And let me go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. There is a security seal at the top, also a handle. Let me cut this and open it up. Inside is a user guide and the Notebook Cooler itself is sandwiched between two pieces of styrofoam and it's in a plastic bag. Now let's have a closer look at this cooler. This notebook cooler comes in a number of different colors which is not the case for most notebook coolers and that is fantastic. It's mainly comprised of plastic but the top is mesh. Now this not only looks great but it will provide fantastic cooling. It weighs in at 0.68 kilograms and the dimensions are 350 by 250 by 23 or 39 when it's elevated. I'll show you that in just a minute. This is a 140 by 140 by 15 millimeter fan. The speed is 1200 RPMs. The airflow is 38 CFMs and the noise level is 21 decibels. And by the way, this is a single speed fan. At the back, you can see the fan a little bit better. This fan intakes cool air from the bottom, then blows that cool air upwards onto the notebook. Note that it has four elevated feet and these flip ups, this will angle the notebook cooler to provide additional cooling or maybe you just want to angle it so you know the notebook feels a little bit better when it's like that. They include a USB pass through connection to power this 1.1 watt fan. Note that it's tucked away here at the back. You do not have to turn on the fan. It's completely up to yourself. Having a notebook elevated on this by itself without a fan should in most cases be fine. However, if you're doing something that is, you know, video card and or CPU intensive, then you might want to connect it into your USB connection and activate the fan. And if you do, all you need to do is just pop this out and route it through the back like so. Now this is a 10.1 inch netbook just to give you some idea how this netbook lays on the notebook cooler. This notebook cooler is designed to support notebooks that are up to 15.4 inches. It has a very quiet fan. Have a listen. This is overall a pretty basic notebook cooler, but that's not a bad thing because that's all that most of us would need anyway. As long as your notebook can breathe. In other words, if the notebook's fan or fans can intake cool air, it is happy. And this notebook cooler will surely do that. The overall build quality, styling, and look on this is very sharp. I love this mesh top. Some branding right here, but not a lot. They include a quiet 140 millimeter fan. This fan, if used, will provide plenty of air and it will cool down your notebook when you're doing, you know, CPU and video card intensive operations. Also, this notebook cooler comes in a variety of colors. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.